the, I think, nightmare scenario is if the outbreak continues on its northeast trajectory. We already have uh, beetles on the other side of the Rocky Mountains, northern Rocky Mountains, where they never were before. If it continues on that trajectory, if it gets established in the jack pine uh, boreal in the boreal forest, which is filled with jack pine, this this outbreak has the potential to go right across the country, and it would be an unprecedented event uh, in 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 our history. And I, I think you would have to go back to the last ice age to find an event that widespread uh, in scale. To compare with, and that it has uh, has implications that could last for generations. Infestation exceeding anything um, in, as far as how bad it could be. Uh, it's worse than anybody predicted it could ever be, and the potential for it to get even worse for moving across Canada is is definitely there. In you know the, the distances that the infestation reaches each year to exceed everybody's expectation. The level of infestation compared to what you know science tells you. Is extreme. So they're stretching the season in length. They're stretching how young of species of pine they're going into, and, and actually the species they're going into. The larvae are the overwintering life stage of mountain pine beetle. And so, in winters where you don't get cold enough temperatures to kill the insect at the right point in time, uh, you may have uh, a continued epidemic from a spot infestation or wider areas, as we're expecting uh, or experiencing in the province right now. Um, You'll, you'll get an outbreak. Mountain pine beetle is very cold susceptible in the winter to uh, especially temperatures minus 40 degrees Celsius and below. But they have to occur in the right time. The larval life stage of mountain pine beetle is the most cold tolerant. Um, and uh, the cold tolerance seems to build up as the winter goes on. So what you really need is a cold snap when the beetle is least expecting it, either early in the spring or 